This week's video is produced by Amen91. Both of these movies contain graphic topless scenes, so viewer discretion is advised if you plan on watching it with a child. You've been warned. The main character is this happy-go-lucky person who always has their head in the clouds. The daydreams the main character has makes it difficult to decipher what's real and what's fantasy. One day, the audience gets a glimpse of this dirty water, and it looks like some sort of beast is under there. We later find out it was a monster underneath the dirty water. The aquatic creature takes a liking to the main character. It makes perfect sense because the main character and the ethnic best friend are the only two people that ever treated the animal with some kind of decency. They clean up after the beast like he's living at a Holiday Inn Express. And they equip him with lots of reading material, and they have cable TV to make the monster's time on land as entertaining as possible. It's not all fun and games though, because the government is after the beast and want it caged up like some sort of pet. They send G-men dressed in hats and coats to search high and low for the missing monster. Even though the main character's house is full of weirdos, the weirdos are perfectly harmless. So it's obvious the main character's house is the best hiding place for the monster. Some animals can't be domesticated no matter how hard you try. The humans push their luck and allow the wild beast to play with their pet, which is extremely dangerous in my opinion. The two friends lack the proper knowledge of providing a safe living environment for the monster, so they enlist the help of a scientist. The scientist is a genius for knowing the complex information about the beast, but he's also an idiot at the same time for not alerting the authorities. Even though they find different disguises to help the monster blend in, the government is on to them. They send G-men to the scientist's house. The main character tries to act normal, but you could tell something's just not right, and he or she is holding in a big secret. The two friends even get interrogated without a lawyer present. Luckily, the main character doesn't say a word. While the monster is in the government's possession, he gets treated worse than an Eagles fan at a Cowboys game. Even though the odds are stacked against them, the good guys plan a breakout. They trick the officers by setting up a diversion. The lights go crazy like they blew a fuse or something, and while the gunmen aren't paying attention, the good guys run in the other direction and the good guys make a clean getaway. Although the monster feels the most safe while it's hiding at the good guy's house, if we've learned anything from gremlins, monsters make horrible pets. The only way to extend its lifespan is to get it to a bigger body of water. They manage to transport the beast to the lake. While they're setting it free, all the authorities arrive and they're like, freeze! But it's too late and the monster escapes and lives happily ever after. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> Best elevator music I've ever heard.